In today's video, I'm going to show you how to control highlights and shadows in Photoshop. Now, this is going to be a complete tutorial from start to finish. So pay attention and watch this video all the way to the end. Okay, so whenever I upload a photo to Photoshop, it automatically opens this camera raw filter. So from here, what you want to do is just go through and fix up the basic adjustments of the photo. So we're going to zoom in here just to kind of see the textures, change up this contrast a little bit. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, my cousin just bought me a salad. I'm about to smack that right now. You know your boy is starving. I swear, man, food just tastes so much better when you're hungry. Let's say you eat the same thing every day for an entire week, right? It doesn't taste any different. Actually, you're gonna get bored of it, but let a week go by and you don't eat anything at all. You're gonna eat that same thing and it's gonna taste 20 times better than like anytime you ate it that entire week just because you're hungry this should go crazy right now all right sorry this is an asmr let me get back to the video all right cool so the moment y'all been waiting for how do we remove the shadows like you got a lot of shadows here under the eyes you got some here around the lip some here on the chin how do you get rid of that all right so what we want to do is create a new layer we're going to hold control and J. So essentially all we did was just duplicate the layer that was already there. We're going to name this bottom one subject or not actually name it frequency one. So free one is cool. Or you can do low frequency, whatever you want to do. We're going to name it low frequency actually. And on this top layer, we're just going to name this one details. And I'll explain that in a second. In between those two layers, we're going to want to add an empty layer. And this one is going to be named shadows. Okay, this is the layer that we're gonna be coloring on, removing those shadows and controlling the highlights, different things like that. So we're gonna hold shift and then select both of these layers. So I'm gonna go to details, hold shift, and select both of them at the same time, all right? And then I'm gonna hold alt. And on this line in between low frequency and shadows, I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna add a clipping mask to the low frequency layer, all right? From here, we wanna go back to details, go up here to filter, go down to other, high pass and then we want to like one percent is always cool you don't have to go anywhere above one percent you just want to make sure that you can see the details of that layer on the photo so we're just going to click okay and then we just want to bring it back to its original form so go over here to blending options and then change it to pen light and if you did everything correctly it should look like this right so nothing should have happened to the photo it literally looks the same as when we started so now go to shadows <coughs> go to your brush tool Make sure the brush is on this soft brown brush. Now, if you start going over the photo like this, it just looks too harsh. You know what I mean? We don't want it to be that harsh. We don't need those lines to be that harsh. So we can go to, go to flow and then drop it to 5% and it's gonna look more like this, much more softer. We're gonna copy a color from a certain area using the color picker. So you wanna hold alt and then copy a color from anywhere and then just start going over that area, copying that color. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to see it starts removing those shadows, but those details are still there. That's why we had this to create a details layer. So you just want to go through and control these shadows. Just color anything that sticks out that you want changed, right? So over here under the eye as well. Now you see these shadows right here. We don't want to remove that because that's the shadow from the hair. If we move it, then the photo is just going to look weird and fake. All right. So some things you just want to be mindful of to not change, but Essentially, all I'm doing is just going through and just controlling these shadows, removing anything that doesn't belong that I don't want there. So once you finish, you're going to have something that looks like this. Right. So after we removed all of those shadows from where we wanted them to be and added shadows where we wanted them to be, like over here, we can actually fix this up a little bit more. Now that you got that looking how you want. So we're going to grab all of these layers using the same thing that I told you before. So I'm just going to grab the details right here and then hold shift and then grab the low frequency. It's going to grab all three of those layers together. I'm going to right click, go to merge layers. And now we have one complete layer. I'm going to name this frequency one, and then I'm going to duplicate that layer again. And then I'm going to name this one frequency two. So this is the frequency separation method that I talked about in many of my videos, not only just on YouTube, but on Instagram. If you're not yet following me on Instagram, go to my Instagram and follow me. I'm more frequent with the posting over there so i shall so this is the finished product this is what it looks like before and after 
If you enjoyed this transformation video and you feel like you learned something new, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and share this video with another photographer who needs this information. My masterclass is also 50% off right now, so if you want to learn my entire retouching process and how to make more money online through social media marketing, go ahead and send me a DM and I will help you get to where you need to be. Appreciate y'all for watching and catch y'all in the next video. Peace.